Welcome everyone. My name is Christopher Royal, class of 98 and current president of the Linfield Alumni Leadership Council. We are where we are because of alumni like you and your support of Linfield. There are so many ways to stay connected with your fellow Linfield alums. Please check out the alumni page at linfield.edu backslash alumni to see those options and make sure to register for this year's stay at homecoming. I am excited to announce this year's alumni award winner. These are some examples of the great work that our alumni do, and we know there are so many more alums out there doing amazing things for our communities. If you know an alumni who is doing great work out in the community or you think represents the spirit of Linfield alumni, please nominate them in the resources tab of the alumni page at linfield.edu backslash alumni. Now, I am happy to introduce Dr. Miles Davis, president of Linfield University. I want to welcome you to this year's Linfield's Finest. Now, of course, it looks a little different than it does in previous years, but we are always willing to recognize our incredible alumni and the contributions in which they make. These people have done some incredible things with their lives. And so we don't want to take away from the fact that we're in the midst of a pandemic and we can't do it live, but it doesn't take away from what they have done and how they have used their Linfield education to not only advance themselves, but also to help others. Thanks, Dr. Davis. The Distinctive Service Award recognizes a Linfield alumnus working in the healthcare field that went above and beyond the normal call of duty to directly impact community health and wellness in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. We are very proud of all the alumni working to help our communities manage during this difficult time. Working in the Salem Hospital Emergency Room, Trevor Phillips, class of 2000, cares for COVID-19 patients on a daily basis. Today, he cites his Linfield professors as role models who gave him the hard and soft skills to use every day. In the busiest emergency room in Oregon, he works side by side with many other Linfield grads who turn ideals into action. He also serves as a Salem City Councilor among other civic roles. Trevor Phillips embodies Linfield's values and is our 2020 recipient of the Distinctive Service Award. Linfield University did a phenomenal job of preparing me for what I thought I would do, which is to go into medicine. I, had, I knew in high school that I enjoyed helping other people through volunteer work um, and, and things like Boy Scouts and my local church. Um, and I, I really enjoyed science. Um, I mean, I'm pretty good at math, but I've always excelled at biology. Um, and I thought that that would be a good combination of those two skills. At Linfield, I had the opportunity to do research and, and to really get a broad background in, in science. I, I majored in biology and got minors in math, chemistry, and physics. But some of my favorite classes were like uh, biomedical ethics in the, in the philosophy department with uh, Professor Frank Nelson. That was uh, a phenomenal, you know, non-basic science class that really probably put me on this path to, to public service. I've always felt that there's sort of an obligation to, to do more than just, you know, passively um, exist while something bad is happening. Um, it's probably why I was drawn to emergency medicine. This should be a award for all infield healthcare workers, especially in the emergency room. Um, this is what we signed up to do. I mean, this is, for so much of us, this is like the calling that we had because you know, this is not a specialty that's for everybody, whether it's you know, nursing or, or physicians or elsewise. Um, I mean, this is we're here to make a difference when people are having an emergency. As an emergency room doctor working at the Salem Hospital, which has been consistently the busiest emergency room in the state of Oregon for the past several decades, but um, not just the busiest, arguably the best emergency room in the state of Oregon, in my opinion, um, you know, we see what's you know not working out you know like what not, what's not working in our society or the issues that are facing you know members of our community so we are on the front lines of, of addressing uh this crisis um, of COVID-19. The alumni service award was created to recognize Linfield University alumni who have made a significant volunteer contribution of time and energy to the Linfield University Alumni Association and thereby to Linfield University. Jenna Nakao graduated in 2006 with a major in elementary education. She now teaches fourth grade in East Hawaii. Jenna has not lost her curiosity for the world and its people. She continues to be an ambassador for admissions, giving her time to meet with students. She's a lifelong learner, and we are delighted to present her with the Alumni Service Award. My favorite part about teaching is actually seeing the kids, which is very hard right now. So 
I was actually really excited. We had two days of face to face and even if it was only like two kids first day and six kids, like I was like, oh my God, there's kids here today. So just being able to see the kids and just see them grow from like the beginning of year to the end of the year, just seeing what you can help them with in such a short amount of time. And then I also enjoy when the year after they'll just, they'll come say hi or they're, you know, they'll want to know what, what you're doing. So I enjoy that part of it. I think Linfield definitely kept me going as a learner because they offer such support in allowing you to explore at your, you know, your own pace or your own interests. And there's so many different components, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. I give back to Linfield because they've given me so much, um, not only academically, but also socially and financially. They're just a school where they make you appreciate, you know, your secondary education and the fact that it's not just going to stop there. Like they uh, know that wherever you go after Linfield, the things you learn at Linfield will forever be um, instilled in you. And it's something that like a lifelong learner is just somebody who's going to continue to go back to what they experienced and what they learned at Linfield and carry that out into the community. So I just really appreciate Linfield for offering to accept me. And I feel that I should continue to support them as they have supported me. The Distinguished Nursing Alumna of the Year Award recognizes a professional nurse who exemplifies nursing excellence. Candidates for the award should demonstrate professionalism, innovation, and dedication to the field, as well as excellent communication skills. This year's recipient is Quinn Denfeld, class of 2005. She credits the well-rounded education she received at Linfield as instrumental to her success. Majoring in nursing and minoring in biology, she is now an assistant professor at OHSU School of Nursing, where she divides her time between teaching and research. She exemplifies the values of the nursing profession and is our Distinguished Nursing Alumna of the Year. I would call myself very curious. I think curiosity has driven much of what I've done over the past uh, 15 years of my career after graduating from Linfield. My research focus is on the biobehavioral mechanisms of symptoms and physical frailty among adults with heart failure. And I am particularly focused on women with heart failure and understanding symptoms, physical frailty, and mechanisms of those among women with heart failure. When I talk to students about research, I tell them that it's more a marathon than it is a sprint because you have to have persistence and patience um, to do this kind of career. The short-term rewards are pretty far and few between, but um, the long-term rewards do come eventually. You just have to be patient for them. But just know that research is a long game kind of career and it's very rewarding. It just takes a little while. I felt like the rigorous standards were held throughout my time at Linfield. I felt like from the moment I matriculated into the program that I was expected to work at the top of my profession. And so I strive to stay at the top of my profession and continue to meet those rigorous standards. So while it did cause a lot of anxiety and stress, um, I'm very thankful for it because it forced me to push myself in ways that I wouldn't have thought I could otherwise. And so while each step that I take every single day doesn't amount to much individually, over time it does add up to a lot. So I just try to inch forward and use my research um, to help work towards that goal of improving outcomes for patients, specifically patients with heart failure. So I, it also aligns with who I am as a person. I like to keep busy. I'm very curious. I'm internally motivated. And so I want to know what I can do and how I can help. And so that is what drives me to do what I do every day. The Outstanding Young Alumna of the Year Award recognizes and honors a Linfield University alumna whose professional or civic achievements mark them as a top leader in their chosen field of endeavor. The daughter of two Linfield graduates, Rachel Axman, class of 2015, now lives in Boise, Idaho. In the five years since her graduation, she has worked to promote positive, gender-equitable change in the world. 
Her commitment to using her education as means to empower women has connected her and Linfield to the people who need justice most. We are thrilled to name her the Outstanding Young Alumna of the Year. I feel like Linfield really helped prepare me by helping me develop my kind of problem solving and critical analysis skills. So my professors in the International Relations Department in particular really pushed us to solve problems, to look at every angle and to solve problems in a meaningful way. So it wasn't just abstract memorizing things and answering questions. It was looking at the whole global issue and global systems and how they impacted one another to find real solutions to real problems. My professor um, who helped guide me through my thesis research was Dimitri Kelly and he was really, he really helped me figure out how to use data to do a lot of things but he really showed me how to use data to push how do i express this to push the importance of and realistic nature of building equitable systems like using data to really show that it is the best that equitable systems are the best for all and i think that that was really really important i don't think it was really linfield teaching me ethics or teaching me right from wrong, but it was a push to see everything from all angles and to um, to analyze all options, all problems, all potential solutions, and really pushing us to think of things in the real world that, you know, we had assignments that were things like creating policy um, briefs for solving, you know, epidemics in developing countries, for solving systemic political issues here in the United States or in our local communities. And so it was really taking all of the theory and the history and the tools and all of those things. And I think naturally I look at things from an ethics standpoint. And so being able to combine those tools that Linfield gave me with my natural inclination to do what I can to do right by others um, really allowed me to come into this work with uh, a strong framework. The Distinguished Alumni Award recognizes and honors a Linfield University alumna whose professional or civic achievements mark them as a top leader in their chosen field of endeavor. When Nancy Jo Hoover was a student at Linfield, she learned the value and impact of leadership and advocacy. After graduating in 1970 with a BS in medical technology, she has dedicated her life to working in developing countries, helping build infrastructure and education to improve the lives of the local communities. Nancy Jo embraces the power of listening to all voices and advocacy for positive social change. We are proud of the work she has done and how she has truly lived out Linfield's ideals by utilizing her skills for adaptive leadership to make a difference for others. I'm Nancy Jo, and um, I want to know about you because that, that fascinates me. And, and I want you to know about me that I have, that I'm an introvert, a positive deviant, and uh, I have a passion to work with marginalized people. And I hope at the end, when I go to the pearly gates or wherever that's supposed to be, that, that God will tell me, well done, good and faithful servant. Now, I don't know if you knew much about Linfield back in the late 60s, but girls, I would say, were incarcerated in their dorms. And so you had to be in your dorm by, what was it, 10 o'clock or nine o'clock at night, and you couldn't go out. And of course, the guys, they could just roam around and do anything. One of the first things that sort of hit me when I came to, to Linfield was, I was gonna figure out how to change a lot of those rules. So we did, it was great. So I learned a lot about advocacy, how, how to work with people to um, get things changed. You know, they talk about it takes a tribe or it takes a village. Well, I think Linfield can be that in many ways along the way here at that step. And I was fortunate enough to be able to come back at different times. So Linfield to me isn't just the three years that I lived on campus. When I started working for the Covenant, I went out and we were sent home every three to four years. I always came back to McMinnville because that was sort of like the home. I was a head resident in a couple dorms and helped with some of the, of the lab teaching in the biology and chemistry and 
So there was the interaction with the students and all that input helps one to grow, you know, to think about things because they're always asking these brilliant questions that we often call dumb questions because they're just at that point of wanting to learn something. It's just heartwarming to see these young, young people that are, are learning about life at, at, at a different level. You know, lots of people give you things like when you, you leave or something like this and I tell them, no, the souvenirs are in here. Thank you all for watching and celebrating with us. We're so lucky and proud to have such amazing alumni at Linfield. Just look at all the great things they did. Thank you for your service to the community. Go Wildcats!